So in this sequence, which goes on and on and on, they want us to find the common ratio, the fifth term, and just the general formula. I would recommend that we rewrite this here in, in such a way that the patterns become more obvious. For instance, we know for sure that this has a power of one, but we know that the number one is very flexible and that the number one can be rewritten in many different ways. For instance, one could be written as three over three because three over three is one. And the reason we can do that is because we can see that there is sort of a pattern taking place. So look, it's three, three, three. So this is gonna have to have a three. And what's the exponent? Three over three, five over three, seven over three, nine over three. The anticipation is that this exponent is nine over three, and that is appropriate because nine divided by three is three. And in three to the power of three is three times three times three, which is the original 27. So this is appropriate. So can you tell me the next piece? Well, for sure, it's gonna be three to the power of 11 over three. And that's good because the first, second, third, fourth, they wanted the fifth term. So straight away, you can tell them that the fifth term is three to the power of 11 thirds. This can be presented in many different ways, uh, but this is appropriate because this is correct. Now, what's the common ratio? I mean, to go from here to here, what am I multiplying by? Well, to do that, recall that the common ratio can be found by taking any term and dividing it by its predecessor. You can go this divided by that, or this divided by, or any two you know, consecutive terms. So let's take this one here, and let's divide it by the term before. All right. Now, recall your rules from algebra. Remember that a to the x over a to the y is just a to the x minus y. And I want to do that here now. I have the same base, so I'm going to take the top minus the bottom power. So this, according to that rule, would just be 3 to the power of 5 thirds minus 3 thirds. And 5 thirds minus 3 thirds is 2 thirds. This is your common ratio. And you know what your first term is, A1. And so our general rule, our general formula, which says this can now be completed. AN is just the name of the formula. The first term was three. Our common ratio was discovered. It's three to the power of two thirds and the exponent stays n minus one. Again, this can be rewritten with radicals in many different ways, but you know what, this is fine. This is the nth term, that's your formula. This is your common ratio. If they wanted the common ratio, there it is. And this is the fifth 